Hey guys, this is Travis at One Up Adventures in Fly Products USA, and thanks for joining us as we open our very first production unit, Rider Limited Edition Moster EFI. Now this isn't just any Moster EFI. Fly Products has done something very special and made this a limited edition Fly Products Rider unit, and we're gonna see what it looks like here in just a moment. Okay, we're gonna have to dig through some things first. Looks like we've got a cage bag, a goodie bag, tool kit, belt tensioner, instructions, prop covers. We'll have to figure that one out. Some other stuff, some foam, more foam. That's gonna be a cage, and this does come with the, the large, the XL cage to accommodate the 140 centimeter prop, and it is a double hoop cage for extra safety and protection. It can also be purchased with the single hoop cage, which some of you might think looks a little bit better. There it is. Now you guys are gonna see right away, this is a Moster EFI, how do, you, how do you know? Well, you can see the completely milled and anodized EFI fuel injector and uh, lack of carburetor, but the injection system here. What you're gonna notice right away that this does not look like a regular rider. It's actually quite special. This is a fully anodized cosmic gray frame on this machine. And I think when we get this thing put together, it's gonna to look really awesome and it's going to be something special that's a little bit different than what you guys have seen from fly products before so we'll uh we'll get it out of the box and we'll start putting it together and then we'll show you guys some of the differences let's take this thing out so with the limited edition rider most reify with what we're actually gonna be doing is creating a custom embroidered shoulder cover on the harness where you've actually got the pilot's name embroidered into this with the EFI logo. Okay, so off camera, we just spent the last five minutes assembling the limited edition Rider Moster EFI. And we just wanna point out some, some features of what makes this a limited edition. We'll talk a little bit about the EFI and uh, we're still waiting on our battery that has to ship separately due to shipping regulations so we can't start and run this today till we get that battery in but uh, as soon as we get that we'll, we'll be doing that for you guys too so let's take a look at the um, at the machine overall first you're going to notice that it has this really super cool um, cosmic space gray fully anodized frame and cage so this is not painted this is actually um, aircraft grade aluminum that has been fully anodized on the framing cage and it looks like super sharp. Um, you've got your standard Fly Products harness. Uh, with all limited edition EFI units, you're gonna get the uh, specially embroidered shoulder patch with the EFI logo on it and the pilot's name. If you do decide to sell your unit down the road, by the way, these just rip off and you can get a replacement made. Uh, also here on the front, you're gonna notice um, that one of the biggest things you haven't seen is the display unit for the EFI. So this display unit is the computer. It is gonna show you all kinds of information, the time that the engine's been running from the time you started it, your exhaust gas temperatures, your cylinder head temperatures, your RPMs, and it also stores a lot of what we call telemetry, which is engine information, that while it doesn't display that for you, it's stored within this unit. There is a, uh, a memory card in here, and uh, I don't remember the frequency, but every so many uh, milliseconds, it stores a piece of data, just like your car would, which is really nice because if you ever do have a problem with your EFI unit, um, that data can be downloaded and sent to Viterazzi for analysis and we can figure out what's going on through a computer for your, your motor. Small difference, but you can see on the reserve pocket, it does have the EFI logo and the limited edition logo. Instead of a red handle, it's got a, uh, an orange handle for, for your reserve. Flip it around to the back. And most things back here are gonna look pretty familiar to you. The EFI is electric start only. Single button, the kill switch that, that most of you are accustomed to on the throttle that is, is also the start button. So it's, you, you turn the unit on, you wait for the EFI and the computer to initialize, and then it will tell you that it's ready. You manually enter into the computer how many liters of fuel you have on board so that it can use a, its fuel flow meter and count that down during your flight. And then you press the start button, and again, it's EFI. So 
it's gonna start right up because it's gonna meter the exact amount of fuel that the engine needs for those environmental conditions. It also has a built-in safe start. So that means after engine start within, I think it's eight seconds if the engine RPM exceeds, I wanna say 3000 RPM, it's gonna, it's gonna automatically stop the motor. So that's a safety issue uh, to prevent you from getting your, your hands, face, arm, body chopped up in the event that you didn't start this on your back, which you should always start your motor on your back or in a rack. This one has the 140 centimeter propeller, which is going to be the thrustiest version of the Moster EFI. We've got the big XL size double hoop cage. You know, for, for foot launch pilots, you really don't need the double hoop cage. It is nice to have because it keeps the propeller completely enclosed inside this metal arc. So your chances of, if you make a mistake, catching lines from the glider into the propeller are gonna be a lot lower. It also makes the, the cage stiffer, so power forward launches. They're, your chances of it flexing into the prop with a double hoop are nearly zero. And um, for trike pilots, it is, we would highly recommend that you have a double hoop cage because you're always doing full power forward launches and the stiffness of the double hoop is going to be really important on a trike to have that double hoop. Other than that, it looks the same. You've got the, again, the cosmic gray anodization on the frame and the cage. It does come with a cooling shroud on the cylinder head, which is really nice. Your standard Moster air box. And then of course, like we pointed out earlier, back here is where you can really see the differences with the uh, uh, EFI fuel injection system uh, going into the motor. And then harder to see underneath here, this is the brains of the entire thing and that is the EFI computer and control box. What we're gonna do, we're gonna go ahead and put this on a scale. We're gonna see how much it weighs, and we'll show you guys what that looks like. We know that it's going to weigh approximately eight pounds more than, let's say, a Moster Plus, and let's say, uh, if you're gonna compare it to a Mo Moster Dual Start, it's gonna be a few pounds more. Now, we don't have the battery on this yet, so the battery's going to add maybe a pound to a pound and a half of weight to the unit. It is a lithium battery, so. Let's go ahead and do that. Okay, we're gonna weigh myself first on the scale, and then I'm gonna put the Moster limited edition Rider EFI on my back, and we will weigh that, and we'll see what the difference is. Okay, so we were 176.3 with just me, and this is the Rider limited edition Moster EFI without a battery. 243.4. I'm gonna get off and get on back again just so we can verify that. Okay, 67.1 pounds with everything except for the battery, and we'll weigh that when we when it comes in. I think it's just over a pound. It is lithium, and of course that does not include fuel reserve or anything else. So that's about right. We knew that. Uh, well, we run about 58 pounds on a Ryder Moster Plus, and this was 60, you said what, 67? 67.1, okay, so eight, nine pounds heavier. Okay, so we're really excited to fly this very first production unit, limited edition Moster EFI. The, something if you guys are looking at this unit to consider, of course, there are some, some, some downsides. Uh, this is significantly more expensive than the Moster Plus or Moster Dual Start. Um, it also weighs uh, a percentage more than the Moster Plus and the Moster Dual Starts. There's some of you that may not want that extra weight and that's something worthy of considering. On a trike, obviously, if you're putting this on a Fly Products Flash Cruiser, Foxy Trike, or a Vertigo Trike, that extra weight's not gonna matter to you at all. Now, but if you're the person that you want the latest uh, state-of-the-art leading edge technology in your paramotor, this is definitely something that you wanna be looking at. Uh, with this EFI, you're gonna you're gonna definitely see a difference in engine reliability, ease of starting, fuel efficiency, and safety combined to make this a superior engine to make up for that price and that increase in weight <clears throat> on the unit. Um, also, you're never gonna have to tune it uh, with a regular diaphragm carburetor that like it's on the standard Moster. Obviously, if you get up to a certain altitude, you're gonna have to uh, have some kind of way of leaning the motor in order for it to make full power. The EFI unit does that completely for you. Reliability, if you do have a problem with the EFI, which your chances of having an issue are gonna be significantly lower just due to the nature of the fact that a computer is taking, you know, dozens of readings, 
milliseconds apart and adjusting your fuel so that your engine will run perfectly and smoothly. But if you do have an issue, you've got a memory card in there that records the telemetric information and that information can be relayed back to Viterace via an email for analysis and then we can figure out what needs to be done to fix your unit. So thanks for watching. We'll come out with future videos once we get our battery showing you guys how this is to run. You can go back to July of 2023 and you can see when we had a prototype EFI unit, Anthony Vela did some work on it and we did some flying on it too. So it's pretty cool. But this is the first production unit and we're, we're super excited to try it out. Also, if any of you guys are going to Bad Apples, we're super excited to be the title sponsor again this year. We will have this unit there. And if you want to try it out and you are a intermediate pilot or above, come see us there and we'll let you guys give it a run. So thanks.